بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما let's see some more points uh, relating to the independent service independent basic service act now as i said in independent basic service act we we don't use any access point so there is no access point used and any device can connect to any device but again they don't scale because you cannot go beyond 8 to 10 devices so more applicable when you are trying to do some kind of file sharing between the two people or two laptops maybe some documents during the meetings or maybe you have your own laptop and you want to connect to the printer to send out some kind of print instructions to the to the printer probably kind of temporary connection it is more applicable but when you go with some uh, with some large scenarios maybe this is not applicable so again as you know this is also called as ad hoc network or independent basic service set even you can call it as a p to p or computer to computer network and by default ad hoc communications will not be able to communicate with any of your infrastructure devices by default means when you when you try to connect through your ad hoc network with a specific SSID and you want to connect this network to the wide network by default it's not possible because there is no centralized access point and of course you can do some kind of bridging uh, bridging of this interface to this interfaces that's something you can still do to provide the connectivity but by default that is not possible